Hey kids! There's a lot to learn about remax snakes. Like, where do they come from? And what do they eat? Worms. I'm not ready for that. Let's play. The little game with snakes. Tell me if you see one. Where's the snake? Shout when you see it. Ah, there it is! Where is it? You're too slow. Try again. Looking, looking. Ah, there it is again! Did I miss it again? Keep looking, guys. No one will find one. Found one! Snake! You missed it. It's gone? There it is again! Oh! Thanks, guys! Great job! Now back to work! Where are they? So, where do Remax snakes come from is the question. Invaders with tiles. We need geography. <laughs> Remax have a large geographic range. From southeastern Canada through the eastern two thirds of the USA and into Mexico. Isn't that cool? Cool. There are northern and southern ringneck snakes. You can tell them apart by their bellies. The southern ringnecks have a pattern, but the northerns do not. Why do you care where reptiles come from? Purr. That's a really good question. We research habitats. They're natural, wild habitats. Before setting up an enclosure every time. Why do we do that, Zale? To try and get their environment as realistic and natural as possible. <laughs> Our enclosure's for a southern ringneck. That's the fancy belly, right? Let's get to it by setting up their temporary bioactive enclosures. This is our new snake enclosure! Take it out! For habitat setup, we think about essentials and enrichment! The first essentials are dirt and hides. The fancy word for dirt is substrate! We used terra firma from the bio dude, and once we were done with the dirt, we moved on to hides. Where'd they go? A ringneck snake is shy. The more places you give a ringneck snake to hide in, the more they'll come out. Yoo-hoo! Hiding is a defense strategy. Because if a predator cannot find you, it also cannot eat you. Wait. The more hiding spots, the less they hide? That's confusing. It makes sense. If you provide only one hiding spot, the snake's gonna feel safe staying right there. But if you provide multiple safe zones, the snake might feel secure traveling between them. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah. Stop. I'd want to avoid that too. Ooh, ooh. That's plenty of stuff we found. We're creating lots of hiding spots so our snake feels safe. That's it for substrate and hides. Brain, brain! Come do a snake search! Woohoo! Looking, looking. This is tricky. Hmm. Can you find it? Nice. Let's do 
one more. Snake Torch! Gosh, do you see it? Hmm, this is really hard. Maybe try getting closer. <gasps> there it is! Good job! Big dummy! <laughs> that was fun! Now, on to food and water. <laughs> According to our research, in the wild, ringneck snakes eat small frogs, small lizards, small snakes, insects, slugs, and earthworms. Bon appetit! What you got there? I got some... I think they're earthworms. Uh, where's he going? I am going to put them into the enclosure. Make sure none of them egg safe because they are extra good egg sapers, we found out. <laughs> Gosh, these things are good. Would you hold a worm? do this for a while. So let's move on to water, shall we? Every morning we need to clean the water dip. We use the old water for the plants and then time for new water. Let's go. Top banana. <laughs> well, that takes care of one and two. The last essential on our list is temperature and lighting. Ringneck snakes are nocturnal, spend most of their days hiding, Bye -bye. and don't really bask in the sun. So we provided a temperature gradient. <sighs> if we were keeping them long term, we would be giving them UVB light and a plant light because we do bioactive. Now for lunch, man! Wait, I need a brain break. You got it. Dance party. Shake it like a snowman. Like and subscribe, please. Sales rep Kyle. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Mom, I already forget it.